Hello again. For today, a very simple, I may say, a very simple Sunday uh, project. You know that uh, I'm using this kind of iMaxes to see there for charging and discharging lithium batteries and also nickel metal hydride uh, batteries for uh, hybrid cars. I had in my mind to to have an, uh, a kind of heat control this iMaxes. Today uh, I'm gonna have a very very simple schematic. It's very easy to be done and uh, it's already done and it's working very well in one of these iMaxes and mine. We need an N channel MOSFET N channel like this. We need a thermistor. You know what is a thermistor? It's a resistor and um, the value of the resistor depends of the temperature something like this so we have now almost 10 kilos if we apply a heat to the resistor you may see it's going down so this is a negative thermistor the resistance is going down when the heat is applied when you don't heat it anymore it's going back to 9, I think this is a 10 kilo ohms. Okay, so this is a thermistor. So I said that before all my projects are with recovered parts. I may say uh, it's the best way to reuse all electronics and parts and doesn't cost anything, just the time and the idea. Okay, so let's say we have a fan like this, a MOSFET end channel. Uh, powerful enough of course this is like maybe 60 watts or more a 10 kilo ohm let's say 10 kilo ohm thermistor and a 10 kilo ohm 10 kilo ohm trimmer so it's you can uh, adjust the resistance and how the things are working here it's very simple okay well, let's put the, the MOSFET here so we got the MOSFET, okay? So we got three terminals here. So we got the gate, we got the drain, and we got the source. This one, the source, of course, is going to minus the boards. From this one to the gate, we are coming with this trimmer. 10 kilo ohms trimmer and then from gate to plus here we're gonna have the thermistor 10 kilo ohm thermistor this one I showed I showed it before okay so of course we're gonna have a fan this is our fan let's say we are coming here with the plus, the red wire, red wire is here, see, this is the red wire, and the black wire, the minus, will go to the drain, right here. So we can do like this, and we go here to the fan. Like I said, it's a very simple uh, schematic. Here we have the plus 12 volts and I don't want to open it up because it's already in here but I can show you how it's working. Now I'm doing a discharge with, okay I'm discharging this lithium ion cell and the discharge current is 1.5 amps. And it's a lot of heat, but you can hear that. If I cover the inlet, automatically the temperature goes up and you hear the fan is going faster and faster because the thermistor is sensing that the temperature is going up and 
puts more current to the phone. The single, the single problem here, oh, it's not a problem in fact, but it's something very, very uh, sensible, let's say, it's to find the point with this one in between, uh, in between the, the, the voltages to have the right range for the fan. Now you see, so the inlet is free and the air, it's a lot of air coming in and the fan, it's, it's cooling down. Like I said, it's a very, very simple schematic and I'm gonna start to doing it and I'm coming back when it's, uh, when it's done. Let's check the MOSFET. Yeah, the MOSFET is okay. Nice. So I'm gonna have the thermistor on a piece of wire. Then I can use it uh, in different places, you know, for checking temperature. I'm gonna use this for a grid tie inverter to help it cooling down. Okay. So here we have the the thermistor. The it's like a sound, you know. It's then I can use it in different places to pick up the temperature and to start the the fan. So uh, one of these is going to plus. Okay, so we put all these things to plus. You see, we have the the red connector from uh, from the fan. And one one of the wires from the, the from uh, from the thermal resistor. And twelve ports, and the fan is working. Now, let's see if we got any change. Yes. So. Now it's starting. Let's apply some temperature. You hear that? Let's see how many volts we got here. And this here. 7, 16, 7, 0, 9. Okay, let's hit it up. Just like that, it went up straight to 12 volts. Wow, it's it it's the heat through the wires going there. It's the heat from the wires to my hand. That's amazing. Okay, just let it be. So we got here like. Uh, 20 degrees or something. Okay, so now it stopped. It's almost it's very 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 low voltage. You see this? Now it's so easy to see it. Take this heat. There we go. So here is my uh, grid tide inverter. Well, now it's pretty. It's pretty okay because uh, it cooled down. It's not so much production anymore. But I want to put this here somewhere to help it uh, to help it ventilate it to help it uh, cooling down a little bit. So uh, I'm gonna do it right now. Okay, so it's done. I have a 12 volts here from. Uh, 
from the solar panels and from the batteries and for now I just put it here and the sensor up here so this one will be tied with uh, you see I only touch it a little bit and it's already starting um, it's already starting the power and this is nice and I let it here for for later adjustments uh, I know it's not looking so well for now but uh, I'll see tomorrow in full sunshine if it if it works uh, the effort or not but for now I'm really happy about this project so let's wait till it's cooling down and uh, I think that's it for today and thank you very much for watching bye bye